Hello YouTube, hello America, hello the world. This is Eric at FlexPVC.com and what this video is going to do is show you how to reform uh, the pipe. In this case I'm just using flexible pipe but sometimes flexible pipe will become ballooned over a long period of time and it will swell up. So what I'm doing is I'm heating the pipe and we're going to reform the end. Now obviously this pipe is not ballooned but I'm just showing you the process. Whether it's a heat gun, it's hot industrial heat gun. Um, hair dryers will not work. They don't get anywhere near hot enough. I'm showing you there that it's hot. I can definitely form this. I'll let it get a little warmer. You don't want to let it get too hot. Okay, so you're going to need a product in a minute. It's a funnel. Everybody's got funnels. Uh, plastic funnels work better than metal funnels. Uh, what I'm showing you here, although it's out of camera, sorry, is uh, don't let it get too hot that you see little black spots. That means it's burning. You don't want to do that. You don't want to burn it. You just want to get it hot so that you can reform. So you just use a funnel, a plastic funnel, and you're going to take the hot end of the pipe and shove it into the funnel. Or if it's already uh, attached to your spa or something, you're just going to shove your funnel over top of it and just hold it. You're just going to hold it. That's it. You're going to let the pipe cool while it's touching the funnel and that's going to take the end back down to a taper okay let's see if we can see it here there you go it's not perfectly in focus sorry but that is a little bit of a taper that's all you need that's really all you need uh, well it depends on how bad your pipe is uh, that's an extra deep couple I like to use extra deep couples on this and I like to use the one that says made USA it's got the heavier wall and it works better because you're using it not only to form the pipe but to, as a heat sink to cool it. So you want to form it and cool it. So what I'm doing here is I'm warming it up a little bit more. I want it a little bit better taper. Just checking it. Okay, so now we're going to take the couple and I'm going to get started on there. Don't worry, but you don't have to go super far on. That's not that important. Just get it started. Then, now your pipe may be ballooned a little bit, so we need to be able to shove that couple on a little bit further. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it on there, and you're going to heat it up. I switched it here. I flipped it around because the one end is getting warm on the uh, couple. So I flipped it around to use the other end because it's cool because you want to heat it up but you don't want to heat the part that you just reformed so you use the coupling as a heat sink and then you go and you heat the rest of the pipe don't get it too hot you don't want to heat the heat sink in this case the uh, couple and if the pipe is attached to the tub I'm sorry but that's very difficult you just have to get your heat gun in there the best you can you have to move the heat gun top bottom left right whatever you got to do to get it in there but you don't leave the heat gun in one spot because it will burn the pipe badly. So you're just going to keep doing this and you're going to shove the coupling all a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. What I suggest you do is you measure the socket depth of the fitting and mark it. Mark your uh, pipe so that you know that you've gone far enough. You want to go at least as deep as, at least as far as the depth of your socket. Uh, and uh, don't worry about it if you're off a little bit, it'll be fine. Okay, so we're heating it up, and now uh, we got it on as far as we need to. We're, we're pretending to do that, and then we just let it cool, and don't touch it. Just let it cool, and it'll stay in that form. Turn off the heat gun, get it out of the way. I'm just checking to see how warm it is. So if you wait a little bit, you'll wait till it's cool and then you can take the coupling off and that'll reform the end don't worry about if it's not perfect you might have to redo it a couple times just as long as you don't overheat the pipe you'll be fine so then once you pull the coupling off and it's room temperature do not apply glue or primer while it's hot do not do it it will evaporate the primer and it will dry the glue instantly so cool 
apply your primer and glue, and then shove it into your socket. That's all you should have to do. Now it depends on how bad your pipe is ballooned. You might have to try it a couple times. Just redo the funnel, uh, try a different funnel. That particular one I have there is eccentric, uh, more centric or concentric funnel would probably be better because that one I got in my hand is offset. But you saw that it worked. It put a little bit of a taper on the end. Okay, so I hope you found this uh, video useful. If you did, please subscribe, like the video, tell others. Uh, if you need more help, give us a call, 888-782-3539. Almost out of time. Thank you very much. Bye.